This is the Young Investor for the New Investor podcast, and this is already episode 15. And I hope you are, like me, looking forward to a great week ahead. It also appears that the right thing to do right now is to ensure you have sufficient cash on hand in your brokerage account. And while at the risk of repeating myself, this is crucial as you need to prepare yourself for the high probability for an upcoming recession in the U.S. economy and in your lifetime, you may encounter only a few of those. Now, why would I sound so positive about a recession? Indeed, recessions are good for the investor for the simple reason that the stock market is heavily discounted and you can simply shop around for wonderful companies at a great price. Don't get me wrong, no one likes recessions, but how else do you think rich people get richer? I will leave you to develop your own theory on this. I often think how ignorant I was a couple of years ago. It does help to remember how easy it was for me to spend money on things I do not need, how easy it was for me to accept the fact that I did not have much aside at the end of the month. I did not understand the value of money until I started investing. My first investment was $2,600 and since January 2018, my net worth rose by 2,203%. So I'm not selling you anything, I'm not receiving any compensation for what I am telling you today. I am sharing with you in the simplest of forms how I will reach my financial objectives by documenting my day-to-day and this will take years. The most successful people on the planet did not document their journey on how they got there, whereas this would have been gold to all of us young investors. Now, I'm certainly not in that league, but I'm posting pretty solid figures already just by following the reasoning I'm trying to share with you right now. Now, what would be the steps to take in order to first and foremost get rid of your debt? This will require discipline and you need to start today. Point one, set a budget. You need to forecast your spending against your income so you know exactly where you stand. I do mine for the full year and I'm very pessimistic when I forecast. I keep all spendings to a minimum. Two, avoid taking on new debt. Stop borrowing money to consume. It is simply the worst thing to do. If you have to borrow money, do it to invest in a business that would make money for you. Three, educate yourself on investing in corporate finance. Do not be afraid. It is simpler than you think and you do not need to be captain of the industry to start investing. Four, your subscription, subscription, sorry. What are they? Start re-evaluating your monthly subscriptions. Are they really necessary? How often do you use the service? Are they bringing any value to your life? Are they getting you closer to your goal? If not, cancel them all. Increase your income. Number five, we have covered this point in the previous episodes. Episode six covers it to be more exact. Six, use cash rather than credit cards. I withdraw $900 cash every month to pay for my expenses. No credit card. You will see how easy it becomes to manage your expenses this way. I only keep a charge card by American Express in case I travel, but I always pay it at the end of the month. 7. Start selling things you do not need. Do an inventory of your home and declutter. When you see an item, think about when was the last time you used it. Does it bring real value to your life? When was the last time you thought of using it? If you can't answer those questions, get rid of it. Sell the thing. This is all at least a good start to get rid of habits aimed at building debt Paying off your outstanding debt is a priority and there is no excuse for not building additional sources of income to that effect given the world we live in. A world where you can basically start any business from your bedroom. Pay off debt first by growing your income at work, excel in what you do, ensure you're happy in your current job to do so, if not, quit. Even if in debt, allocate 5% or even 3% to your investments. Even if it is a small amount, they will compound over time. Once you have fixed all of this, start increasing your investment money and start thinking in terms of growing your net worth rather than just savings. I hope you have found value in that episode and I look forward to your success as a young investor. I wish you a fantastic week ahead and a fantastic week ahead, sorry, and a fantastic week of change. Thank you. 
The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.